and welcome to Maker.io. In the previous episode, we learned how to send and receive data from Adafruit.io. In this episode, we're going to learn how to use triggers so we can do things automatically. So to use triggers in Adafruit.io, we first need to navigate to the triggers, which is to go to navigation and triggers. Then we can go ahead and create triggers by going to action and create a new trigger. Now scheduled triggers happen every so often, but unfortunately they can only be used to email you every so often, which isn't really helpful. So we're going to go ahead and use reactive triggers. Now reactive triggers are pretty cool because we can see and compare the value of one feed and then make it set the value of another feed or do an email. So in this case, we've made two triggers down here that look at the workshop temperature and if it falls outside the range, it will configure the window state to either zero or one. So for example, if workshop temperature is greater than a uh, comparison value of let's say 25, then you can publish a message to window state and make it one so it opens. And you could then go less than 18 and close the windows by making it zero. So we have our two triggers down here and now they've been set up. So the next step is to use them in our program. So in our Python program, we have two variables, old state and new state. These are only used so that we only do this instruction once when the state of the window changes. But all we do in this program is receive the window state feed. And depending on the value of that feed, we will either print the window will now open or the window will now close. So before we carry on, I just want to quickly note that when copying the program over, it didn't include the tab space here. So I've included that now. And so we can go ahead and run the program. So if we bring the temperature down below 18 degrees, the window will now close and it only prints it once. And if we go back up to 40, the window will now open. And that is how we use triggers. Well, that's all we have time for today in this episode. Thank you for watching and see you next time.